Today I'm going to make this beaded chain necklace. In the previous video where I spoke about what my grand gave me to make her something sweet, we made a bracelet for her and now I'm going to make a necklace from these beads. So these beads are quite beautiful and I decided to use the longer beads because they just look so beautiful. They do need some cleaning though. Using my wire cutters, I'm just going to remove these beads from this necklace. It is quite old and dirty so we just need to make sure all of the beads come off nicely. Now I'm going to add some white vinegar to some water and then we're going to put the beads in there and clean it. Cleaning the beads and letting them dry on a paper towel. And then just rinsing them off again after they were dry. <laughs> To get rid of the, the vinegar, of course. I'm just joking. It's just to make sure that there's no residue or anything else on it. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's dry again. And then finally we're getting to the fun part. So obviously I decided to use these longer beads. Because these other smaller beads was not really something I was into at the time. And I just liked it too much. I mean... Can't you see how beautiful this is? It looks like an aqua color. Um, comparing it with my jersey, which is blue, it's definitely a blue-green color. So it is definitely very beautiful. Be sure to check my description for everything that you require to make this necklace. For now, we're going to use this chain that I got from Sheen, which I will also link for you so that you can go and check a similar one on your side. I'm interrupting your viewing pleasure to show you this beautiful bracelet I made. Go check it up above. Okay, so we're going to measure 90 centimeters of chain. Here we go. Then we're going to cut 7 times 10 centimeter pieces. Okay, pro tip, so if you're struggling to get the pieces to the right size every time, take a little um, hook or make a little hook with some wire and then put it through the end of the chain and then when you try and measure it with the ruler, it's going to be so much easier to get the right size. Okay, so the last piece is around... 18 centimeters so this long piece we're gonna wait and use it till the end okay so all seven of these chains are ready uh, and this tickles <laughs> so you're gonna take two pieces of the 10 centimeter chain we're gonna need a bead and then we're also gonna take this 0.3 millimeter wire so now I'm just going to cut some off. You can cut it around 10 centimeters if you want to. You can make it longer, but it doesn't have to be very long. As long as it is longer than the bead that you are using. So if you are using a longer bead, be sure to use a, lo a longer piece of wire. So we're going to cut two pieces of wire each time. So taking one piece of the wire, you're going to bead through the end of the chain. Then you're going to add the bead. And then you're going to add the other piece of chain to the other side. So then it is chain, bead, chain. Then you're going to take the one side and loop the wire through the bead again making sure that it goes all the way through. It doesn't have to go through the wire on the other side, just through the bead.
and then you're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take both ends and we're going to pull. Now this side I'm going to pull hard till it can't and then this side I'm also going to pull on hard. And this is the kind of idea that we're going to come up with. So this is what it looks like at the end. This is already secure. But what I like to do is take the leftover wire and then just bead it or wire it through the end of the chain that is connected to the bead. And here's a close up of what that looks like. Make sure that it is very close to the bead. Oh yeah, and remember the nail that I lost guys? It's grown back. So I'm definitely going to make this nail as beautiful as the rest of my nails. Just wanted to show you. And this is what it looks like up close. Now we're adding the rest. Okay, so here's what we have so far. I've added all the pieces, including the longer piece. So as you can see, there's a bit of a difference here. And then at this point, you can either add a clasp to the ends, or you can add a bead. Now, I'm going to add a bead in this case because this is for my grand and she'll be able to put it uh, over her head without having to use a clasp because she does struggle with using clasps. So I'm just going to add another bead. Here's my beaded chain necklace. What do you think? <laughs>